everyone, it's me, Sam. I'll sit a little bit closer because you know I need to sit like differently because skull is like in a pain in my ass today. Okay. So this is pretty much a bitch slap rant. If I could bitch slap Ulta, I would. Okay, like there are certain employees there. Okay. So what if I go to the store all the time? Okay. I don't care. Um last time I went when I got my Urban Decay Too Faced palette. I had no problem. The employees, they were super helpful, super nice. So I go today, I had this, okay, the Macadamia Natural Oil. It's a cleanse, condition, refine, perfect for your hair. Anyways, I also had the um, new Urban Decay Big Fatty Mascara. Another mascara that was just like a Revlon one because it was only $2 in the clearance. And they had some thing that was like a travelo for the perfume. Okay, so I get to the register and they have my stuff. And I was short, like not even $10. Okay, so, and I also had like $11 or $12 in rewards. And I wanted to use them. And she rang me up and I was like, I have to run to the car to get more money. I will be right back. Well, she took my rewards and she gave them she did not cancel my transaction I don't know what she did but the people and when I walked outside she went to take another customer on the same register she claimed she voided my transaction but I know she didn't and the other lady who I held up the line there were like 15 people in line I did not care I was pissed and you know what three strikes you should be out I gave them more enough chance so I go back in there and I still didn't have enough because I only got enough because of what the rewards points taken off what it was saying that it was only supposed to be 40 something dollars and without that it was like 50 I don't know close to 60 dollars or something and I'm like what the fuck I was like you know and I didn't cuss her or anything I asked her you know to why didn't you take the rewards off well it wasn't letting her take them off because the person that was behind me that she took got my rewards so there was no way I could get them today so um I was like you know what because with the rewards with the stuff that I got was such a good discount such a good price to get it all they're holding the rest of the stuff for me till tomorrow when the rewards, they had to call. It was a big hot mess. Um, so my reward points will be back on tomorrow and they're holding the rest of my stuff. Okay, they should have like fucking given me something or even apologized. It's not my fault that their employees are stupid. So all I got was just this because I really, really wanted it. And um, a couple other things while I was in there is the thing that's like the travel out. It's you like hook it up to like a perfume and like pump perfume out of like a perfume bottle and you put it in your purse so you have your perfume and I asked the girl when I was checking out I said is this like the Travelo because the Travelo I know you could order online she didn't even know what a Travelo was then the same bitch I cannot stand this woman um and I've complained about her too and she is still there I asked her because I seen Christy had on her page, I think it's the Revlon Lumi BB Cream and the concealer, like the liquid. I asked her, a simple question, did you get it in yet? Do you have it? And she looks at me and her hair is jacked. Okay, her hair is jacked and so is her makeup. And she's like, oh, I only know high-end makeup. I wouldn't know anything about that. It's like, you work here. You should fucking know. Seriously, that's all I'm asking you. And so then I asked her about the mascara. And I asked her the new big and fatty compared to the previous one that's like in like a 70s looking tube. I said, what's the difference between the two? And she just looked at me and I'm like, okay, like does the new one have something the old one don't? Like what's the deal with it? You should know. And I was like, oh my God, you're, you're stupid. How are you even working here? 
And it took like three of them to try to fix the rewards. What else happened in there that pissed me off? Oh, before the Big and Fatty mascara, I asked if they had the Too Faced that has the white wand that has like the little microfibers in it. She was like, oh, we don't, um, we didn't get that. I don't know if we're getting it. Like, she's like, I don't know. We just get like what we get. And I'm like, fucking serious. And then I was just like, I was like, well, you know, I was like, I know people, you know, that I've seen on YouTube. More than one person has it. And I was like, you know, I was like, maybe Sephora carries it or, you know, somewhere else. And that's what, it, and then the whole Big and Fatty Mascara thing happened. And they didn't have that. See, and they never have anything that I want. And I also want to explain, I know for the movie trivia, that the um, Too Faced Summer Palette, I cannot get that. It is so backlogged and I did not know this. I got mine from Ulta. I guess I got lucky and they had some. Um, I know my friend is got a rain check for one and she's had a rain check to get it um i was at sephora they they were back they didn't have it um ulta didn't have it and i cannot order off of the internet no longer and plus it would be like double shipping and whatnot so um whoever wins the june trivia i'm so sorry but um i'm gonna make a video of i have almost all their other palettes you're just the, what you're gonna have to pick one I can get I'm so sorry I can't get the summer one and if you want a different benefit blush I'll be more than happy to do that too I'll show you the other ones as well but yeah Ulta this is like that's it tomorrow I'm going in there I'm getting my stuff using my, my using my points and throwing my re rewards card at them and telling them to shove it so I'm up their ass down their throat I don't care I've gotten nasty in stores before and I'll get nasty again I don't care usually I'm not like this but was a little bit too much and so I'm pretty much done with Ulta so what I, and it's so convenient because it's like two blocks away from my house compared to a half hour drive to an Ulta or a Sephora but you know I will just make a list of makeups and hair care products that I want that I could only get at those stores and I'll just wait until I save up all the money for it add it all up and just go out there and just pick it all up at once in one big old swoop so yeah that's my rant um like i can say i hope you enjoyed it but just you know it's just disappointing that when you work in a cosmetic store especially if it's high end you should know your products you should know what you have you should know where it's at you shouldn't what she did with my rewards points was so wrong she should have waited till i came back in my sister was like parked right in front of the store, literally, because she was waiting for me because I was just running in for a few things. Um, it's sad to see that, um, you know, a lot of these makeup gurus, I know don't, they might, I'm not sure, don't work in these stores and seem to know more about the products, how they work, which ones are good, which ones aren't. They know how to apply it. They're in the know and the up and up. These ones at Ulta, don't they don't know anything you ask them and they just look at you like you're making something up seriously they don't have an answer so they should at least you know what i think to qualify to work in one of those stores you should really know your products and they should quiz them or something i don't know but that's my rant if you work in a makeup store um even though Too faced is considered high end because she was playing with the makeup over there and rearranging it she should have known the mascara i was talking about but she really didn't um, so yeah, basically my message is, is to this Ulta, fuck you, I'm not going back to you. Um, I think I'm done with Ulta altogether, I'm just going to go to Sephora. Um, know your products, know what you're talking about, um, because you want to try to sell stuff, um, not look stupid. So, this is my rant, um, yeah, and I did already contact corporate, I'm going to contact them again. I don't care, it's ridiculous, just ridiculousness all around i'm not as pissed as i was earlier but it still makes me mad but um so with that said just when you are in beauty stores be really careful like if even if it is a sephora wherever you're at i mean even i went to walgreens today and the lady there was more helpful seriously and she knew makeup um so just make sure when you're in one of these stores 
that if you have a question and they can't answer it for you and like they don't seem to give you a good answer or they're like fumbling with their words and look confused, walk away from them and just use your best judgment or just do what I do now and I just pretty much take the advice off of people on YouTube. So with that said, um, thank you guys for watching and um, if you have a bad experience, don't feel bad to complain there and to call corporate because everyone now like is in serious needs of jobs and if you're that stupid and get a job that you can't even answer a damn question you don't deserve no job go like in chicago and like be a bum with like a styrofoam cup and just sit down all day because you're stupid and that's probably all you can do and clutch change okay well with that said i hope you guys have a, a good evening and i will see you guys again later in some other video at some other time